Yes, and Pastor Anderson will talk to us about Samsung as, mm -hmm. as a few minutes. And we will start now. We have some uh, things to, to talk before. So I will share my screen and I hope everyone can, can see. Let me know if you're able to see my screen. Yeah, great. Yes. Well, so happy Sabbath, everyone, and welcome. Uh, it's really glad to have you here with us during this evening. And we have people from uh, all parts of the world. The most is here in, in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, but we have people in the United States, Susan, and also Pastor Anderson and all, all the states here in Brazil. So we're really glad that everyone is here with us. And for this uh, Fridays, we have this new uh, this series that is about the heroes of faith. And we study up, uh, about a lot of heroes of faith that, have in, that is in he, uh, Hebrews 11. And today we have one more hero. But before we start our meeting, I would like to ask Elsa to pray for us. Hello, dear God. We are so grateful and thankful for the Sabbath hours. The Sabbath hours you made for us. We only need to meet you better in this day. Now, dear Lord, we ask you, be with us, that we may keep the message and that we may follow your word. Dear Lord, thank you because how we are, we receive from you and how that you gave us, you gave us free. So we are so grateful to you. Oh dear Lord, I ask you, teach us, lead us to live every day for you. In Jesus name, amen. Amen, thank you Elsa. I'm not sure if you heard me. Yes, you heard. Yeah. Well, uh, for the visitors, uh, we have our WhatsApp group. If you are interested to join us, you can uh, scan with this QR code and you can join us in the WhatsApp group. And also we have a, a prayer padlet that you can share your prayer requests and thanksgiving. And also you can uh, chat here in the Zoom your prayer requests and thanksgiving. And we'd like to, to talk to you that we are here to pray for you for your prayer requests and thanksgiving. We pray for you every day during the, the week. And here is uh, the Bible verse for today. I would like someone uh, could read for us this Bible verse that is Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Someone, could you read for us? May I? Sure, Susan. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Amen. 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 Well, and here is our first song, so you can sing with us. So please mute your microphone or have some interference, but uh, sing with all your heart. Give me faith. Give me faith 
to trust what you say that you're good and your love is great I'm broken inside I give you my life I need you to soften my heart to break me apart I need you to pierce through the dark and cleanse every part of me all I am I see Trust what you say That you're good And your love is great I'm broken inside I give you my life It's yours, it's yours be weak but your spirit strong in me and my flesh may fail but my God you never will I may be weak but your spirit strong in me and my flesh may fail but my God you never will give me faith to trust what you that you're good and your love is great I'm broken inside I give you my life oh give me faith to trust what you say that you're your love is great I'm broken inside I give you my may fail but my God you never will I may be weak but your spirit is strong in me and my flesh may fail my God you never will I may be weak but your spirit is strong in me and my flesh may fail but my Spirit strong in me, my flesh may fail, but my God, you never will. Amen. 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 Well, now is the time for our prayer requests and here we have two prayer requests to this week we didn't have a lot of prayer requests and thank given just two of them and the first prayer request uh, is for praying for sister helgard and her family they are facing uh, healthy problems and it's really difficult during these times so please pray for for her for her husband and for her daughter and her family as well. And also here's a prayer request that I wrote here that's pray for India. India is faced a lot of trouble and face situations with the pandemic and it's getting worse. 
So I have some friends from India and they wrote um, uh, some situations that is not easy down there. So I would like to, to pray for, for my, my friends and also for the country, uh, for all the country. And also here we have another uh, a Thanksgiving that someone uh, wrote that, thank you Lord for my life and for what you have done for me. So now is the time for we pray. And I would like to ask for Oceano to, to pray for us. Let's pray. Thank you Heavenly Father for this meeting you gave us. We thank you for this wonderful week we spend in your side. We have been praying for a lot of people we love, for the problem they have been facing in their life. And we believe that, we are, that you are with us in this fight. But first of all, we want to thank you for everything else, for support, for care during this week. We are facing this terrible time. But we know that we are someone who always is with us. Is you, God. We want to thank you because we know that you are there in India right now, being with all that people to protect them, God. We know that they are facing a terrible time about this coronavirus. God, what? We believe in you, that you are listening our prayers for our dear and lovely family here there in India. Also, be with your daughter, going to wrote about uh, her problem. She uh, has been facing. We know that you just answer our prayer request. We thank you also for this Thanksgiving that did. maybe your son, your daughter holds. We know that you know that person is actually who is. God, keep protecting us. We want your presence in our life, not just for Friday, but for every day. We want to walk with you, God. This is our pray. We believe in your son, the only one you sent to this world that saved us from the sin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I think is the most important part that we'll talk about Samsung and you have a special guest and I would like that Badu uh, could you please introduce your your guest our guest but he's our friend yes for sure so guys uh, I'm so glad because I invited Anderson Ferrantino he's a friend and not just my friend but my family's friend and he studied uh, theology with my brother at UNASP São Paulo in Coelho. and he so glad accepted the invitation and thanks Pastor Anderson for being here for made here and he is a master student of divinity at Washington University of Virginia so he was in Brazil uh, until I think two years ago I don't know but now he's in USA. 
So Anderson, thanks so much for accepting the invitation. And we are so glad to be here and to receive you, to made you, that you made here with us. Thanks so much. Sure, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank you for this. Let me see right here. Can you hear me, guys? Just to make sure. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because I'm using my uh, cell phone and my uh, MacBook to, because I want to see you guys. <laughs> um, but I am using to share, to deliver this message for you, my cell phone, but, but to see, I am using my computer. Let me change these things right here. Now I can see, I think almost, I think everybody, right? Okay. Hey, thank you guys. Uh, happy Sabbath, everyone. Uh, for us in the United States, uh, we have at least two hours uh unto the uh, sunset right but thank you i really appreciate this invitation um let's talk about this important hero right uh samson is uh, one of the my favorite hero because wow well, we will see in this message what uh, God has done uh, through this important person in the Bible. So uh, I really want, I would like to, to have uh, your participation, right? So the first presentation is going to be read for us Hebrew uh, chapter 11, verses uh, 32 to 34, just three verses. Anybody can read for us. I will, I have it. So Hebrew 11, chapter. chapter 11, verses 32 to 34. Is that correct? Yes, you're right. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read the New Living Translation. So it is written. Uh, how much more do I do I need to say? It would take too long to recount the stories of the faith of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Je Jephthah, uh, David, Samuel, and all the prophets. By faith, these people overthrew kingdom, ruled with justice, and received what God had promised them. They shut the mouths of lions quenched the fl flames of fire and escaped death by the edge of the sword. Their weakness was, was turned to restraint. They became strong in battle and put whole armies to flight. What a, what a chapter, right? What a list. And it's wonderful to, to read this part of the Bible because uh, I believe, I, I strongly believe that the, this list uh, is not finished, right? Because you and me, uh, we can uh, be the, the heroes right now. Um, I, I really do believe that because like when I talk about heroes, um, have you ever tried to save somebody who is gonna die? Like swimming in the sea or something, and then you were so close, you were so close to, to, to him or her, or, uh, and you could to save the, that person. Everybody, uh, anybody here, Save someone or in any situation? No? No. 
In person, okay. no. But my brother uh, accounts that my younger brother accounts that I saved him from drown uh, in in the teenage years. But uh, I think it was a miracle because he uh, is pretty sure that it was me uh, myself. But I I cannot recall this. I can't have the. I don't have this memory. So I think it was a miracle that saved his life from drown. Amen. Yeah. I have say I have stopped someone from walking in front of a car, but there have been times, and this didn't save anyone from dying, but where someone was falling and I reached out to try to catch them, but I didn't catch them. They ended up falling. Hey, uh, when we talk about heroes, of course. Um, uh, we can think about this, the salvation or something like that. Uh, but when, when, when we study the Bible and, and read and think about the heroes, uh, it's wonderful because like uh, Samson is for me like uh, Superman, right? I think he couldn't uh, fly, but strong. He he was strong. Uh, what else? Uh, what about agility, right? So fast because uh, wow, a lot of things he uh, he has done. Wow. And I have a question. Do you believe that God has a plan for your life, for you. Okay, I can see everybody here uh, saying yes. Okay, have you ever found God's plan out for you? No, not yet? fully, not fully. Okay, but can you share just a little bit uh, about the plan, the God's plan for you? Just, just a little bit, like. Uh, I, I, I believe that Jesus uh, called me to serve him as a pastor since I was a child. And that's why I'm here. Uh, oh, that's see. why I, but uh, what about you? What, what, uh, tell me a, a little bit about the God's plan for you. Well, God has made me a people person. I love people and I love keeping people happy. Okay, perfect. What else? Someone else? I think that God is uh, leading uh, all of us to serve him in a way, uh, some way, somehow. Uh, and talking about specific, specifically of me, of myself, uh, I think that uh, I, my calling is to, a call of duty is to serve God uh, by helping the church in English programs. So I'm supporting, I, I was a former member of an ASP service school and um, there I'm using all that knowledge that I, I, I've gained on those, all those times, almost one decade, 10 years over there in Sao Paulo by serving in Brasilia and anywhere in Brazil or outside the country uh, to spread the good news of salvation. So this, this is my, my calling, I think. Wow, perfect, wonderful. May I? May I? Savannah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so nice to meet you, firstly. I, I really believe God asked me for it, educating, and that's the reason that I start and I won't give up. Wow. Yeah. So, somebody else? Okay. Um, if, you, if you think... Uh, if you think about the uh, God's plan for us, I think the essential is save life, right? We, uh, we 
God save us for, from the condemnation of the sin. And then he gave us a mission to share this message for everybody. So this is our main mission. Save life. Share the love of God, you know. Uh, so God have God has uh, given for us uh, gifts to share His love, right? Somebody, uh, somebody can uh, teach, of course. Somebody can sing or uh, work as a doctor or nurse or something like that. But I think the main thing is uh, we are called by God to save life. And we will see the example about uh, Samson. So let's read together uh, Judges uh, 13 verses two to five. And once again, I ask somebody to, to read for us. Judges uh, chapter 13, verses 2 to 5. Well, if no one is going to share, I'm going to talk oh. it again. There's some. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead, sister head. Uh, from verse 2? Uh, chapter 13, verses 2 to 5. Two, certain three, man, four, five. Okay. Yeah, A certain man of Zora named Manoah from the clan of the Dinah had a wife who was sterile and remained childless. The angel of the Lord appeared to her and said, you are sterile and childless, but you are going to conceive and have a son. Now see to it that you drink no wine or the fermented drink and that you do not eat anything unclean because you will conceive and give birth to a son. No razor may be used on this head because the boy is to be Nazarite, set apart to God from birth, and he will begin the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistine. Uh, yeah, perfect. In verse, verse 24. Verse 24. The woman gave birth to a boy and named him Samson. He grew and the Lord blessed him and the spirit of the Lord began to stir him while he was in Manadam between Zora and Eshtal. Okay, thank you. Uh, God, let's see God's plan to Samson. Um, what do you think about it? what the main, uh, what the main mission, uh, the plan, uh, the plan of God to call Samson, to separate Samson, to be what we can see in the Bible. Uh, the main, the main thing is set free God's people because they, uh, they were under persecution. Uh, we can see in the last of the, 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 in the end of the verse five. Uh, but you, now we can see God has given power to him, strength and agility in a lot of things more uh, to, to Samson. And then Samson uh, 
he has everything that he needs to 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 complete his mission right mm -hmm. uh let's see let's see uh something uh, at least four uh, three or four uh important things incredible things samson have them like Jed, uh, judges 14 verses 5 and 6 we can see samson went down to timna together with his father and mother as they approached the vineyards of timna suddenly a young lion came roaring toward him The spirit of, of the Lord came powerfully upon him so that he tore the lion apart. You can believe that? Mm -hmm. Tore the lion apart with his bare hands as he might have torn a young god. It's <laughs> incredible, right? I, uh, I searched some image about the young lion young lion is a strong lion right but samson tore the lion apart it's incredible let's see another another thing samson catch 30 hundred uh, uh, 300 sorry 300 foxes Uh, in this area, Colombia, I'm living in Maryland, uh, Colombia City. It's like 20 minutes away from Baltimore and like 40 minutes to Washington, D.C. But uh, you can see uh, sometimes, a, a, a lot of times, uh, always you can see like deers, of course, a lot of deers right here. But uh a lot of foxes as well but it, they are so fast and when 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 we uh see the bible saying that in judge uh chapter 15 verse 4 so he went out and catched 300 foxes and tied them tail to tail in pairs 300 bucks. It's incredible. What a speed. Like, what a uh, man. Fast man. Fastest man. Why? Uh, I can't catch any fox if I try because uh, they are so fast. But Samson uh, catches it. 300 uh 300 foxes it's incredible samson uh another uh, another extraordinary thing uh, we can see in, ju uh, in judges uh, chapter 16 verses 3 but samson lay there only until the middle of the night then he got up and took hold of the doors of the city gate together with the two posts and tore then loose bar and all. He lifted them to his shoulders and carried them to the top of the hill that faces Hero. Come on. This is incredible, right? Mm -hmm. Incredible thing. Oh. What a strange. And then, uh, because like, if you, if you think, uh, I think there is nobody with the same strength, right? Uh, this, this, we can like, sometimes we can see David, but David was a little man and with some stones in, in his hand. Uh, but Samson is incredible. Like, if, if you think uh, uh, it's, it's not normal, right? But I think the most extraordinary, uh, we can see Judges uh, 15, verse 16. 
take a look at that. With uh, donkeys, gel bone, I have made donkeys of them. With a donkeys, gel bone, I have killed a thousand of men. Come on, a thousand of men. A thousand of men, one, one, one man killed a thousand of men just with, with the bone. <laughs> uh, three or four uh, weeks ago, um, I watched a movie about Samson. Wow, it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's incredible because you can imagine what really happened there. And when we read the Bible, we can see that it's it's extraordinary thing, right? But what went wrong with Samson? Because he has power, he had power, uh, strength, uh, agility. Uh, what went wrong with him? What do you think about? Passion. Passion? Okay. I agree with her, passion. Okay. Somebody passion. else? I think he lost the, the goal. Okay. Bad choices. <laughs> no, he, he didn't know how to live with uh, the power that God gave him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, what about the heart, the Simpsons heart? We can we can talk, of course, about passion, but uh, when we read. But before talking about the, the heart, the uh, Samson's heart, let's see uh, Psalm chapter one and verses one and two, please. One and two, Psalm, uh, Psalm ver, uh, chapter one, Psalm one, please, verses two, because Psalm, there is no, there is no chapter. <laughs> it's the wrong way to say uh, Psalm chapter one. It's like our hymns, uh, 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 it's not like let's let's sing along uh, uh, God uh, let's sing along like uh, some music some song in, in our in our worship worship time and we say as uh, like let's 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 sing chapter one. No, let, let's let's sing Psalm 1. <laughs> Psalm 1, verses 1 and 2. Uh, blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of the mockers, but whose delight is the law of the, the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Uh, you can see the progression, right? Uh, walk, stand, and sit. Walk, stand, and sit. Uh, but the main problem, uh, I think, before walk or stand or sit, the problem is uh, we can find an uh, important verse in the Bible in Jeremiah chapter 17, 9, verses 9, verse 9. Uh, the heart, you can see there, the heart is uh, deceitful above all things. Deceitful, no just one or two or three things. Uh, the, the Bible says all things. And beyond cure, who can understand it? Uh, when we trust in our strength, our heart, 
certainly we are navigating in in bad in really bad temptations because the bible uh declares to us the heart is deceitful above all things we can see this the same problem uh with uh salomon right and wow a lot of david uh jacob and uh i think the the main problem uh what went wrong uh, with samson is about our main problem is our heart sin and heart you know and when you uh surrender to the lord the lord can defeat your heart you know the lord can can win the bet the battle for you but in in, in some moment in samson's life he thought no this is this strength this strength and agility is mine or mine it, it, so i am strong uh, i am uh, handsome and i can i can hang out with any girl right here <laughs> but <laughs> he trusted in his heart we can see that in the bible but uh take a look at that nobody nobody born without god's knowing god know everything god knows everything right uh nobody born without purpose god gave us uh the life uh, the life because uh, he he had, uh, he has a special plan for me and for you but when when we read the bible in uh in first corinthians chapter 10 11 we can see that these things happen to them as example and were written down as warning for us on one uh the culmination of the age has come two important things right here examples these these things happened to them as example and warnings for us and but this is is extra, extraordinary to see that uh, samson uh, uh, despite of the fact he has followed his heart he's there in the list of the heroes of the faith right this is incredible because uh we don't deserve anything but if you accept the 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 uh if you accept jesus christ god can give us his own victory And this is particularly beautiful because when you see in uh, Solomon writing, uh, he 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 says in uh, sorry Isaiah uh, chapter chapter fifty five verses eight to nine. We can see, uh, you can, please, you can uh, search for us the, this, uh, those verses right here, but uh, we will read uh, in a few seconds. Uh, Solomon says, I, I think about the, I believe that the inspiration of God, the Holy Spirit, uh, came to the Solomon and he, he uh, wrote, he has made, God has made everything beautiful in its time. In its time. He has 
he has also set eternity into in the human heart, yet no can fathom what God has done from beginning to the end. He has made everything beautiful in its time. God made us beautiful and everything perfect in its time, in, uh, in God's time. He has also set eternity in our hearts. Because uh, the eternity in our hearts uh, link the human being to the our God. Eternity in our heart is like a DNA, I think. I think it's the, uh, is, is right, DNA, right? The blood. Uh, DNA in English, I, 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 I really don't know. It's not my field, you know. <laughs> but DNA uh, is uh, the eternity in, in us, into us, you know. And, uh, and I, I do believe that J Jesus gave us uh, opportunity to, in, 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 uh, in our life, to be uh, a hero like Samson. But we needed to believe that the, the same strength, of course, we, I think we don't need to, to fight against lion, right? Uh, or burn like tails, uh, three, three, 300 of uh, foxes. We don't need to do that. But uh, God get, give, gave us uh, his Holy Spirit to yeah. make us... Uh, powerful in yes. our words right and then we we can follow the the steps of christ the step of christ and we can surrender to god like samson did you remember after all bad things that happened with samson we can see that he prayed uh, he has prayed to god and please uh Give me, God, one, just one more time, your strength, your power. And then uh, it's interesting because when uh, Samson uh, could see, looks like he was blind, right? But when he couldn't see, that in this case, he could see the power of God in, in his life. And then he has prayed to God and asked to him, please give me one more time. And God gave, gave him power to destroy the enemy of God, the enemy of God's people. And I think uh, we have uh, invisible enemies. And we need the, the same strength. We need the same power. We need the same knowledge and wisdom. And we can get with God because God delivered for us, everybody. We need just to seek, ask God about the, uh, about the power. And if you don't believe that God uh, doesn't, Oh, didn't give you uh, a special plan for you. You can see in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9. Somebody can uh, read for us. Can May somebody I read it? All right, of course. Thank you. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. Amen. What a verse, or what a promise, right? What a declaration. What a, a statement. God's statement. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, I think our main problem is our heart, sinner heart. 
And our main solution is believe in God. Our main solution. Because we can see everybody here and all the heroes of the faith. They were justified by the faith. And we need, we must believe in, uh, in these promises. We must uh, believe in God's promises. Because the, uh, the promise is for us. In the past, uh, for God's people. But now, we are God, the, the, the people of God, right? And my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to finish saying that Samson, uh, despite all of the, the bad choices, uh, he is in the list of the heroes. Because, not because uh, something bad or something good that Samson did, but he believed in Jesus Christ. He believed in the angel of the Lord. We needed to believe in God. Sometimes we needed to close our eyes to see only through the Jesus eyes. Uh, I mean that the Bible, uh, I, when we study the Bible, read the Bible, we can see with the Jesus eyes. We can see the prophecies. We can see the promises. We can see all the things. And then uh, after that, we, we can have power because his word is power for us. Let God save us. Let God give us his power every day. Let's ask him every day, every single day about the, the power, God's power, because we needed it, this power every day. Because, uh, like I said, we don't need to fight against lions, but there are a lot of uh, figurative lions in our lives. You, you, and we needed to overcome all the, these problems. So I, I pray for God to give uh, his power, his strength and uh, uh, through his, his word, I ask to God to give us wisdom and, so, uh, and power and ability to see uh, all the things God has done and is uh, doing for us and, and what God will, done, will do for us. So my praise, uh, we don't need to concentrate in the census fails, right? We need to concentrate what Jesus uh, did in Samson's life. Of course, like uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 11 says, uh, these things happened examples and warnings but god every day give, the god give to us his power wisdom and strength to keep moving forward uh to keep going to new jerusalem with the the power of the holy spirit and i think uh when Jesus come again, we can see, we, we can see our name in the perfect list of the heroes of the faith. Because, not because about our, uh, our things, but the God things, the God's grace. And then when we are face to face, 
look into the face of God. We can deliver to him our crown and we can declare, no God, only you deserve all the honor and glory and power because if I am here today in New Jerusalem, it's because you put me in the list of the heroes of the faith because in Jesus Christ, we are more than conquerors, right? So God bless you. God, may God bless you in this perfect day, in this week, Sabbath. And if you can share this message, uh, the, this hope for everybody through the app, WhatsApp, or uh, the Samson's life, what the, the list of the, the heroes of the faith. And I really thank you. Thank you for, for having me here. Thank you, Badu, for this invitation, important invitation. And I would like to pray right now. I think uh, after that, after the, we have a special moment of music, right? Yes, we have a music before. The, the after that, okay. Uh, after that, I will pray. Okay, thank you, Pastor Anderson. Thank you so much for this beautiful message. And God bless you. And thank you for accepting the invitation when Badu asked you. It was a blessing for us this night. Well, I will share my screen to uh, we sing our last song. So are you able to see my screen? Yeah, great. So the last song, uh, the title is From Inside Out.
Amen. Well, Amen. the next week you have our last hero of faith. We will study about David and Franciele Badu. Uh, we will talk about David first. So, but not the end of our, our small group. It's just the last hero of faith. So wait that we'll have good news for you for the next new series. And so I hope that you can be with us next Friday as well. Well, so now, Pastor, could you please guide us in our last prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings for our life, uh, for the salvation, for the life of Jesus Christ. Uh, we are thankful for uh, all things you have done for us. And now uh, we ask you to bless us with your blessings. Please, uh, our Lord, give us your power to keep walking in his way. Give us your strength. Give us your wisdom. And dear Lord, please keep us in your hand. And please don't give up about us. We pray for you, our God, to give us, to confirm your promise and declare everyone here that we are saved by the grace of God. In Jesus, in sweet name Jesus, we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, once again for to be with us this night and for everyone. Have a happy Sabbath and may God bless everyone. Happy Sabbath, guys. Thanks so much for everyone. this more special moment. I, I know you are you are missing me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, but no. <laughs> and Anderson, thanks so much. Thanks so much for oh, good night. Thank you very much. Bye bye, bye, Silvana. Bye bye. Happy Sabbath. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Badu. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. God bless Thank you. Happy Sabbath. Bye bye. Happy Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Say Happy hello for your, to your family. Happy yeah, Sabbath. for sure. To the yeah. kids, you. to your wife. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Where is Professor Elsa? She left. Hello, Simone. Where, where yeah. is Simone? Si. Simone, are, are you there, here. Simone? Simone, Gasparini, you left without giving a, even a hand low. No, she, she's, she's... She's shy. Hiding. Yeah, she's shy or hiding. She's shy. For, I disagree. I, I disagree. <laughs> Uh, Probably she's eating something. Yes. Yeah, I true. agree. I agree. Yeah, These points, I agree. <laughs> very These points, I agree. <laughs> or cooking. Simone, <laughs> prove that, please. Simone, prove Where that. She... <laughs> yes. Simone would like to see your, your face. Or she abandoned us. Yeah, yes. that's Maybe. a possibility. <laughs> uh, I think you'll leave Oceano as the host so you can sp uh, yeah. Yeah. keep talking. Uh, I'm just. I'm just wanna leave my dear. Friend. Really? Yeah. You don't want yeah. to talk tonight? <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't, but uh, I have another meeting. Okay. I know. I got it. Yes. So. Yeah, they are sending me a message. Ocean, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> just no, like no, 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 God bless a you. Man. God Very bless beautiful. you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. And I see you next Friday. Bye bye. bye. Good to see you, Bye bye. Bye bye, bye Thank bye. you, Professor Bye bye, bye, bye Professor Elias. Maria. Bye bye, guys. Thank you, bye bye Professor Elias, for sharing the link. I have to leave because I am still at office, so I am the 
the last one here. <laughs> so I need the to last but not the least. Bye bye, Badu. So I think no one was safe to talk. home. So bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Happy Sunday. I'm going to end the meeting.